for the first time with my brother. Aiden. Today is Monday, September 28th, and it is day one. Now let's pass it on to Bella with your news. A brush fire in Napa County, California that started overnight, according to locals, has now added another 1,500 acres to the 2,500 it had already burned through and is forcing a countywide evacuation. Reporters say the hospitals are now being evacuated due to the fires, and patients are being transferred and airlifted to the nearest safe hospital. Local investigators have now placed a total of 7,000 people under evacuation notice due to the glass fire. Though it is still being investigated, the fire supposedly started on a 20-acre farm around 3.50 a.m. on a Sunday night. On Sunday, Governor of Texas Greg Abbott issued a disaster declaration because of the brain-eating bacteria found in Jackson Lake's water supply. According to the declaration, the presence of Nagleria fowleri, a bacteria that can cause Devastation, devastating infection of the brain was identified in three tests of the water supply. Recently, a six-year-old boy passed away from contact with the amoeba. Since Sunday, eight communities in Texas were warned and advised not to use tap water. On Saturday, the warning was lifted for all cities except for Lake Jackson. Hannibal Central School District is temporarily closed due to a staff member testing positive for the coronavirus. The district is set to reopen October 9th. Long Branch Elementary is closed until tomorrow because of a student testing positive for coronavirus. Fayetteville Elementary will now be closed through the end of this week as five more staff members have tested positive for coronavirus over the weekend, bringing the total up to seven. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Theater happens here at ESM. Spartan Stage will have its first virtual meeting on Wednesday, 9, September 30th at 3.30 p.m. Join the Google Classroom using the Google Classroom code grjit 50 to join the Google Meet. Anyone interested in theater should attend. The deadline for turning in student council nomination packets and support signatures have been extended until October 1st. Any questions, please send an email or Google Hangouts message to Mr. Hart at rhart at esmschools.org. High temperatures are continuing today with some breeze and a few spotty showers in the morning. Expect highs in the low, highs in the low 80s. Tomorrow should be mostly cloudy <laughs> with rain, showers, and highs near 70 in the morning and cooling down in the low 60s in the afternoon. Wednesday looks more season seasonably cool with a few morning showers and possibly, oh, sorry, <laughs> morning showers possible and a high in the mid 60s. Thursday and Friday will be cooler with few showers and highs near this and highs near 60. The weekend we, the weekend looks a little more chilly with fall temperatures in the 50s. I'm Grayson with your weather. Syracuse football team played Georgia Tech Saturday in the New Dome. Syracuse beat Georgia Tech 37-20. Syracuse plays next Saturday against Duke. The Green Bay Packers stayed undefeated after their 37-30 win against the New Orleans Saints. Despite the loss, Saints running back Alvin Kamara had an amazing game, having a total of 197 yards and two touchdowns. Another notable NFL moment was the Pittsburgh-Houston game all three Watt brothers, JJ, TJ, and Derek, played against each other with TJ, Derek, and the Steelers coming out on top. 
The Miami Heat beat the Celtics last night 125 to 113 to win the series four game to two. The Heat were led by, in points by Bam Adebio with 32 to win the Eastern Conference Finals. They advanced to take on the Los Angeles Lakers in the NBA Finals. Game one starts on Wednesday. I'm Grace with Sports. So that's all we have time for today. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you tomorrow. And from Aiden, myself, and everyone here at Spartan News, have a great day.